Hi there. Uh, the next video is going to be quite a quick one. Um, as I say, I was very, very grateful uh, a week or two ago when I was given a lighthouse lamp, which I have shown on YouTube. And from the same gentleman, I picked up a, sc a scope, which um, it appears to be working perfectly. Um, one of these days I'll show you it working. I've got some leads for it. There's obviously precautions you have to take when you're using a scope. Funny enough, both my mate and me picked up two scopes. Um, he's still working on his one. He's, he's got a four channel job. It's interesting because it's a valve. We'll probably be having a little look at that over the holidays. Um, obviously by video Nick I can suggest certain things and he can suggest certain things and uh, between us we might we might get it working there are some possibilities anyhow getting back to the main reason for this video um, one of the lamps that I got from the gentleman okay it's actually blown but it doesn't matter let me show you what's on it and it was unusual to me and I think to my mate as well because I don't think he'd seen one made by Phillips which showed this uh, same uh, markings. Now on it I hope you can get that to show up. There we are. That's what's on the edge. I think it's quite an old lamp. It's probably 1970s, late 60s, 70s. What you notice is the letter D appearing twice. Now, on the German lamps, and I have shown one of these before, that's got the D, it means Dovel Wenger. I hope I'm spell uh, pronouncing it right. Um, and look, let's have a look at the book where these are in. There's what it means. Double, well, it means a double uh, coil. Or in England, we'd say coil coil. But obviously on the continent, that's what it goes under. And if you look at the lamps, there's a demonstration or a picture of one. Osram D. Uh, the lamp I showed wasn't by Osram, it was by one uh, uh, one of their companies. But anyhow, I'm pretty sure this D refers to the same thing. What that is in Dutch, I don't know, but it's um, it would, in my opinion, mean exactly the same thing. And the fact it's got two Ds probably means it, it is coil coil like twice. The German ones just have a large D. I first noticed those on a trip to the continent <laughs> many years ago. I've been sort of going to, uh, over to the continent on a regular basis, or the last couple of years I've missed out. But hopefully I will be going in a, in a couple of months' time. Um, and I first noticed it on uh, one of their lamps and I wondered what it was but that's what it means and this catalogue as you can see is an early Osram one uh, dated 1970 it's quite a handy little book actually it covers quite a range of lamps obviously not the uh, not the modern ones um, you've got various types there vehicle lamps a uh, projector studio lamps it's sort of telling me to sort out some of mine and um, uh, put them on YouTube as you might have guessed I do like talking in fact I would say that 
most lamp collectors seem to like talking and a lot of them like pussycats which I do um, so it's in it's interesting anyhow rather than uh, bore you with this that is um, in my opinion what that D means on that lamp and if anyone knows the age of it I don't know if there's any codes or anything on on there Yeah, there's a funny, there's two dots, see on, on there what it says. It's hard to show it up, but it looks like um, a back to front E. And on the other side of that uh, shield sign, you've got two dots. 220 volt 230 which is a typical uh, continental voltage rating it's 40 watts and it definitely was a coil coil lamp unfortunately it no longer works it's got fusing um, it's unusual well, to me it's quite unusual fusing it seems to be fusing right down in the base, I don't know whether it will show up there. You've got your thick wires, but then it goes thin, so it is fused. This seems to be what they did on the early coil coil lamps. Right, well, you use it on on a load of lamps now, mainly on uh, the the two hundred range, two twenty, two forty, not on one hundred and ten volts. I think it's something to do with preventing arcing. But anyhow, that's the lamp. That's the information there. So if anyone wants to pass a comment or ask questions, feel free to do so. Um, it's, just a, it's something which I noticed many, many years ago. And um, these things tend to stick in your mind. So thanks again for watching and um, yeah when I get the uh, the scope set up I'll show you some traces on it square waves sine waves and I'm learning a bit about scopes as well as I say we it's is, it is funny we both got scopes at more or less the same time uh, my one's a relatively modern one but my mate's one is a very interesting one uh, using valves or vacuum tubes and hopefully we will get it working so we'll see what happens anyhow thanks again for watching and uh, I'll put something else up next to give me a chance to do a few I might even go down the greenhouse I know you're itching to see some plants and I haven't done anything on uh, telephones either or antiques. Anyhow, thanks again. Uh, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, all the things you do on YouTube. Thank you and you again. Thank you.